Hello and welcome. I'm Raghav and today we are going to learn about Selenium IDE that is a browser extension and it can be used to record and playback tests on the web and it has some other features and options that we are going to explore. We are also going to see a command line runner for Selenium IDE that we can use to run the test cases from command line and also in parallel. So let's get started and I will go to my browser go to google and search for selenium ide and this is the website i will go here and this says this is a open source record and playback test automation for the web here are some documentation and features so you can also reuse your test cases here and we have option to use some control statements like if else while etc we can also add some plugins and it is available on chrome and firefox so i'm on my chrome browser i will go to my web store and search for selenium ide and here it is i will say add to chrome and add the extension and it is now added here so if i go here you can see selenium ide is now added here i will go to selenium ide and here we have the window we have options to record a new test in a new project open an existing project create a new project or close selenium ide so i will say create a new project here and i can give it any name i will say my project one and say ok and this is created here if you want you can edit it from here and you can also save your project from here and here we have some other options for help and documentation and now if you go to this drop down we have option for tests test suites and executing and these are the short keys or hot keys i am on mac as of now so it is showing me command 1 command 2 and command 3 uh, on windows you can also follow this as you will be getting the hot keys here so i will go to tests and click on this plus button to add a new test i will say this is my test 1 you can give any name here and say add and then here you have to give the base url of your application so let's just say uh, I want to start my test on I will go to a demo application this is a orange HRM demo application where we can do a login so I will log out and show you so this is the application and this is the URL I will also make this URL available in the notes and all these notes will be available to you so here we have a username and password as well that we can use so i will give this url here and here we have a button to start recording i will click this start recording it opens the browser goes to the application and now you can see the message here selenium ide is recording and as i do actions on the browser they are getting recorded here on the selenium ide window so i will give the username i will give the password and click on login and I will click on this user here and say log out and then I will close the browser and you can see it has also recorded the close action and all these steps are recorded if you go to any of the step you can see the details here and you can also see the target element locator and here for example this is the password text box it is using this locator id equals txt password however it has also recorded some other locators so just in case this does not work it can use other locators and also we have this find target in page if you have your page open with the on the same page if you click on this search button it will highlight the object or the element on the web page and if you want to uh, record a locator for a new target or a new element you can use this select target in the page so all this is recorded now we can do a playback you can set the playback speed from here and then click on this run current test and this will run our test on a chrome browser so it is doing a login 
and now log out and everything is in green that means everything is passed we also get the logs here so this is how you can create record and you can play back your test now if you go to your test case here if you click on these three dots you can also export your test case so if you click on export you have these options to export your test case and then we can create a test suite so if I say test suites here you can create a test suite here or I will just rename this test suite and I will say this is my suite one rename and I can go to my test case this is my test one and I will click on this three dots and I don't have the option to add to test suite so I will go to I will have to go to test suites and here if I go to these three dots it says add tests and it will show me all the tests as of now I just want to add my test one I will say select and you can now see my test one is now added to this test suite if I again go to the test suite settings here we have the option to run in parallel and this will only run in the command line runner so let us see that I will just submit this and as of now we have a single test here so uh, it will still run a single test not in parallel uh, let me just go and show you the command line runner if I go to the selenium IDE web page and go to documentation or go to these talks you can see all these talks are available here this is very good we have everything from scratch getting started installation and options you can see all these things here and then we have this command line runner and here is all the documentation for command line runner now for command line runner you need node.js because it is a node.js program so if you go to browser and search for download node.js you will go to this download node.js or node.js.org website here you can download for your operating system and you can install node.js and then you can just go to your command line or in case you are on Mac or Linux you can go to terminal and run the command node space hyphen hyphen version or node space minus V it should show you the node version that means it is installed also you can check for NPM NPM should also come along with node.js so in my case it is already installed so now I can go to the documentation again and here this is the command we use to install selenium side runner I will use this and paste it here and run this so this command npm install minus g selenium side runner will, in, will install the selenium ide command line runner so I will also mention this here this is the command to install side runner this is the command and to run this command we need node and therefore in the earlier step we have added node.js on our system so uh, if I go back to the documentation once you have it uh, you will also have to install the browser drivers wherever you want to run your test case and then the command to run your project or your test case is straightforward you can just say selenium side runner and the location of your project and for that I will have to save my project on my system so I'll click on this save button here and I will just save it on in the downloads folder this is my project one I will say save it is now saved here so this is saved here so once I have got selenium side runner so you can see now it is installed if you get some warnings that is fine you should not get any errors now let us say I want to run on chrome browser so I will run this command to get the chrome driver and this will install chrome browser driver on my system and this is done so now I can say I can run this command selenium side runner and the path of my project so I will say selenium side runner and the project is stored in users raghav and downloads and this is my project one dot side side is the extension for selenium ide projects and i will run this and let's see what happens 
so it is running my test one it opens the browser goes to the application logs in logs out and this is done and this is pass in 11.98 seconds and everything is done so you can do this if you have multiple projects uh, you can just give star so you can say star.side so all the projects in that folder will get executed and if you want to uh, run in parallel we have already seen you can go to your selenium ide go to your test suite settings say run in parallel and when you run this test suite now all the test cases in the in this test suite will run in parallel and you can see some capabilities that you can set so you can also set capabilities here by the minus c or flag or the minus c options so this is how you can set the capabilities with minus c here and you can also see some examples here so for example for chrome you can say selenium side runner minus c and you can give all the capabilities or options here and you can also run in headless mode all these examples are given here and this is how you can do the command line run with selenium ide so this is a very useful tool that you can use and it is uh, there will be a lot of more options and features coming in selenium ide in the coming days i hope this session was very useful for you thank you so much for watching